findings coming out of Switzerland have caused major concern when it comes to eating canned foods, including canned beans. And as someone who relies heavily on canned beans, this was obviously worrying to hear. In fact, there was such an alarm raised by health officials that a ban of the chemicals they use inside the cans is set to take effect at the end of 2024 in Europe. Quote, The timing of this ban appears to be impeccable given the alarming findings regarding BPA contamination in canned goods. BPA is considered an endocrine disruptor, which means it can interfere with our hormone systems. And it's been used since the 1960s in canned food coatings to keep the metal from rusting. The problem is the chemical leaches into food and drinks. Many scientists are concerned that it can change the way the sex hormones, estrogen and testosterone work in our body, which may affect our reproductive system and brain. It's thought that even at low doses, exposure to BPA can also increase the risk of autoimmune diseases. This study found that people who ate just one canned food item in a day saw increased urinary concentration of BPA by 24% compared with consuming no canned foods. Two or more cans of food increased BPA concentrations by 54%. Reports found two out of three cans tested in America contained BPA, and BPA was detectable in the urine of over 90% of Americans. But that was back in the early 2000s up to 2016, and the Center for Environmental Health were said to have found a huge decline from 2017 to 2019 in canned foods that had BPA linings, as new linings had started to be developed to avoid this endocrine activity. But latest research published in June 2024 found in all 10 of the canned tuna samples they tested, levels of BPA far exceeded the threshold of what is considered safe for human consumption. The samples with the highest levels of BPA contained 20 to 50 times more than what is considered safe. So what's going on? Well, firstly, it's important to note that acidity, heat and fat does affect how much BPA ends up being in our food. And the tuna was in oil, so perhaps could explain some of these shocking findings. It's also true that more and more companies are starting to emerge with a new method of lining cans. And two BPA-free brands are Eden Foods, and for those of us in the UK, Biona. After looking at all this evidence, perhaps controversially, I think I would still conclude that if all you can afford or get access to are canned beans that are not BPA-free, I believe that the benefits still outweigh the risk. As beans are loaded with protein, antioxidants, they boost our heart health, can reduce the risk of cancer, help to reduce cholesterol and blood sugar levels, increase healthy gut bacteria, and the list goes on. So I would still buy them. However, if you are in a position to buy BPA-free or cook your own, I would strongly urge you to do this. What is reassuring, though, is this study found that nutrition-wise, cooked from scratch and canned are roughly the same. However, the sodium content of canned beans can be up to 100 times that of cooked. So make sure you buy no salt-added beans. If you can only find salt-added ones, you can drain and rinse them, as this will at least get rid of about half of the sodium. But this sadly means you're also draining and rinsing away some of the nutrition. This has actually answered a question I've had on whether to rinse or not, as this would suggest that if you can get BPA and salt-free canned beans, keeping and using the bean juice is very beneficial. Do you struggle with gas, bloating or gastrointestinal issues after eating beans? Well, next, we'll hear some solutions from Dr. Michael Greger and Dr. Joel Furman.